Time now for a story on solutions. We've also debated calling this segment trash news, where the news is trash, but we opted for subtlety. Um, we know a few things about it. We know that it is bad, the trash situation. We know that you know it is bad, this trash situation. And we know that people want to fix it. So now, a retired tech consultant has launched a program that's got thousands of Portlanders volunteering to clean up this city one block at a time. Here's Maggie Vespa. Adopt One Block. It's a new nonprofit with a healthy Instagram feed. It's based in Portland, and the idea is simple, like the name implies. You sign up online, adopt as little as one block, and commit to keeping it clean long term. We have reimagined the way we make our city cleaner and happier. Retired tech consultant Frank Moscow launched Adopt One Block late last year because he sees what we all see. Trash in Portland is piling up at historic rates, and cleanup crews are overwhelmed. I was appalled by what I saw. I started adopting two really hard blocks myself and started looking around the country to figure out what solutions have been implemented in other places. What Moscow figured out was for a long time, Portland has only really recruited volunteers for big one-time cleanup events. While those are great, he says, they shouldn't be the only option. What happens is, is that then that one-off event, everybody goes away and you drive by that place a week later, a month later, and it doesn't look very good. Enter his new nonprofit, Adopt One Block. To sign up, go to their website, adoptoneblock.org, and enter an address. It could be yours, it could be where you work, wherever you want to clean up trash. I put in KGWs. The website then pulls up a map with blocks waiting to be adopted around that site. Pick one and tell Adopt One Block whether it's a standard area or challenging. The latter means you expect to see human waste, needles, or other biohazards. That's important because once you're done, they ship you free cleanup supplies paid for by anonymous donors. And if you need it, they'll include storage containers for dirty syringes. You can also just get info on agencies to call if you want help with those items. Why didn't I think of that? Adopt One Block is about seven months old and its street cred is growing. As KGW covered last week, longtime Portland architect Homer Williams included expanding its reach as part of his four-point plan to tackle homelessness. We will build communities that will be carefully managed and thoughtfully designed. One of Williams' other pitches, a series of sleek, tiny pod villages scattered throughout the city. Portland City Council is also pushing people to volunteer. Commissioners voted last week to allocate $750,000 to the mayor's new clean and green citywide cleanup project, which is led by the decades old nonprofit Solve. Moscow believes Adopt One Block can speed this work up, especially when you look at this, in his words, heat map of signups. He says more than 2,000 people have signed up, adopting more than 3,000 Portland blocks. What I am thrilled by is the collective energy and emotion around being be the change you wish to see. People care. People want to be engaged in a solution that works. People are saying, I love Portland. Portland can be a clean and beautiful city once again. Maggie Vespa, KGW News. And just a side note, for anybody wondering about the status of our planned cleanup that we were doing with the story team here in Solve, the story team, we're organizing this cleanup effort. We want to do it in May. I'm still ironing out the details. I know a lot of you are interested in heading out with us and uh, picking up some trash around this town, cleaning the place up a little bit. Stay tuned. We'll let you know more of the details as soon as I have them.